Hey y'all, I'm Gary with the Catch a Hog YouTube channel and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of bass fishing here in this 11 acre pond with one rod and one type of bait, not just one bait. I did, I'm just going to be fishing a worm and, and specifically a wacky worm. Now they've came up with all these different names with uh, like a Nico rig or something like that where you put a little weight in the end of it. I've been putting a weight in mine for 30 years and never did call it a Nico wig. I've always called it a, just a wacky worm with a nail weight in the head. So I'm about to get out here and see if we can't catch a few. All right, y'all, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I've got me a, this is a two-aught Gamagatsu hook. It's got a little weed guard on it right here, a little fiber, fiber type weed guard. And uh, I think I'm gonna start out with this little bitty finesse worm right here. It's four inches, four inch finesse worm. Let me show you what I got here in this thing. I got some little nails. Uh oh. And this is quarter inch tubing that I've cut with a pair of scissors. I'm going to slide this right over the worm like that right there. It's about right here. About midway, it's about where that little egg sac is on the worm. I've cut me some finishing nails, cut them in half. You can buy these any Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this nail right in the head of this worm right here. Right like this. So it's going to be hidden, hidden inside that. I want to try to get it as straight as possible because if you make it crooked, it'll It'll float funky. It'll float down funny. We're gonna take this little hook here now with that little band that we got on there. And we're just gonna hook that right in there like that right there. On the on that side, we're gonna have the hook point facing up. Then we hook that back on there and latch it so that it's weedless. We got the hook point facing up so that bait's gonna fall like this to the bottom and we're gonna shake it around see if we can't catch one I'm gonna start right here at the edges because their fish should be spawning kind of close to the bank so I'm gonna start up right around the edge first just making short pitches a little short cast right up here around the bank before I go casting too far out into the lake I'm just gonna hop that thing Hop it around, make it look like a, uh oh, that gummit, there was a bass sitting right there, right by the bank, right by these weeds, and I scared it off when I throwed that worm in there. He was sitting right here by us. You would think in this pond these fish would be spawning, but now, gotta be warming up some. Chunk it out a little farther now. Fish this thing in real slow. Try to make it look as natural as possible. I've got three or four different colors. Maybe more, maybe five. Uh oh, here's fish. There we go. It didn't take long, just a couple casts. We got us a pretty decent one. We're gonna take these and take a few of them out of this pond. It's needing to be, uh, there's too many fish in it this size. That's a good one right there. We'll take those, man, those are fun. Good looking fish. I found a little bucket over here. I'm gonna get it out of there and stick him in it first. Maybe he'll make it till we get a cooler down here with a bubbler in it. 
and they see that worm didn't get tore up not one bit with that little band on there like that we will get us another one this bait is probably one of the most fish catchingest baits there is I believe strongly that that rig like that maybe not that color but something similar either green pumpkin or watermelon watermelon red will catch a bass 365 days a year they say there's some big ones in here 10 plus pounds from what I understand I'd like to get one on this little old spinning rod oh come on have a bump out there Can't tell. I don't think he's got it. I think he does, but he's swimming here. He's coming toward the bank. Uh oh, Aaron. Look out. Look out. Oh, hog get a done bit it. Hey, get out of them weeds. Come here, you. Turn the GoPro it's on. Yeah, but it's that, it's, yeah, but it's got us. Okay. And I got one on my chest, too. If we can get this one. Dang. He got in there and got all tangled up. There he comes. That's the biggest one I've caught out of here. And he's still kind of thin, look. Yeah, dang sure ain't fast. We should probably put these sides back, though, I reckon. Yeah, I'd normally throw them back. Yeah. It's not a bad one. Well, is it look like a female, like it's full? Man, it, no, it ain't, it ain't full. If it's a male, I'd say pull that sucker. Well, I mean, it's hard to tell. They, they can't actually tell, and I don't think, unless they do like a... Stick your finger in the hidey hole. Yeah, and check it. We'll put this one back. It'll get bigger. We'll get them little ones out of the way. This one will have more to eat. Oh, let's see. <coughs> That fish hit it and started coming toward the bank instead of going across or out. You on the way down? I never, yeah, he's on the... He's so far out there. You still got him? It's a little one. <laughs> <laughs> he was so far. I don't know, is he bigger now? I think he got bigger the closer he got to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they know how to get tangled up in that brush, don't they? And then weeds. There you go. Yeah, he's not too bad. He's not. Yeah, that's exactly what that knock caught did. Yeah, that'll be a good one to take. Trying to set the hook with the extra four foot of line. Yeah. Well, he was coming at you. You can't hardly catch up with him. Yeah, put him in there. Right out there somewhere is where I caught that one too. Uh oh. Oh, big one bit it. Boy, look at here. Yeah, look at that big rascal. Come smaller than the first one. I told you I had to catch three like that and clear like your first one. Yeah. Not a bad little fish. That worm's still doing good. Look at there. There we go. Just barely got him. Look at that fell right out. Golly. They don't like being in there. Worm still doing good. Hook it back on. 
We're ready. About five fish on that one worm there. With that little band on it. And you can buy that stuff so cheap at the hardware store. You go buying a brand that's made for that specifically. They'll charge you a whole lot of money for it. There's a bite. Got me a good one. Right where you're supposed to be hooked, right in the top of the mouth right there. That rascal just hatched, looks like. Longer. I keep biting the you keep making him much shorter. Uh oh, there's one ain't gonna make it in there. Get out in that brush pile and get one worm. Get him out of there. You got him now. <laughs> Little bitty guy way over there. That thing makes you hurt yourself. <laughs> way over there. Yeah. yeah. You pull a muscle setting the hook on that one. I think I'll try a different color. You got a sweet potato pie color or something, don't you? I'm gonna try chartreuse pumpkin. Uh, chartreuse no, it's 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 chartreuse pumpkins. What it's called? Let's do on here. We'll go to the back end like this. Drag it up here like that. Maybe should go up in that brush in that toe. Chunk over there before it gets too late. Well, oh Ethel, she got my number. Ethel's over there. Ethel's in there. She 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 drug me around that cove. On, drug you around in that kayak? Yeah, I'm surprised I ain't one that's smacking that thing every dang cast, boy. Hey, now Woo! Now you're bait. I'm getting them now, boy. Golly whoppers. Look what a bass that is. Trophy size. It'd be a trophy one of these days. We're gonna have to. You got him? You got him now. Is it a good one? He's wrestling you. Oh no! That was a that was Ethel! That was a good one. <laughs> I, I'll get him for you, Aaron. Yeah, that one was pulling you, you down. Right pulling. There when it turned? Yeah, oh yeah, it was pulling. No, I mean, I could see the body. It oh, you saw the body? the body? Oh, I didn't see that. I was up there. Yeah, it was a good one. It wasn't Ethel, but it was a good one. It wasn't Ethel? Maybe a five, six. Yeah, seven, eight. Well, you done sore lifted it, and I can't get it. That reel sounds rough. It's got, it sounds like it got gravel in it. <laughs> it probably needs a bath. Right around the back of my truck with enough dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those reels get dirty riding in the back of the truck for a couple weeks. I got a limb and a bass. Look at that big one. It's it came with the the board, the wood to mount him with, and everything. Look. Putting a dent in them for this old boy. Kinky? Your line's kinky? Oh. Whoa, what a big one. Yeah, this one over there. Damn, I smell like I worked today. You smell like who? I smell like I worked today. Oh. I thought you said Alberta or somebody. Big Bertha? Yeah. Maybe you'll smell like Big Bertha here in a minute. You know the fishing good when all these bugs is out like this. If you don't want to open your mouth, you're liable to get them all in your teeth. Get over here off this boat ramp and make a couple casts first. 
if we can't get one wrap us up and break our line in here oh look at that well that didn't take long Said a beaver had dug a hole in the bank right there. The sun's starting to go down a little bit. And I think I'm going to go with something a little darker than what we got here. I've got a uh, black blue flake little four inch ringworm here. Let's see, if, let's see if that'll get them. I seem to do better when the skies are darker. I do, I do better on darker colors. We're just going to hook this in the middle without the band. It's too thick for me to get it over that. So we'll just hook it sideways like this right through the middle of it right there. And that's, that's how that'll look right there. That looks pretty good, I think. Not nothing on black. There he is, right there. As soon as I say that. There we go. We let this feather go. I encourage you if you just want to learn any specific technique or baits or anything like that that you just want to learn how to catch fish with and you know a pond like this is one of the best ways to do it because you know there's fish there um, you're gonna get bites and it, it it just helps you learn what the bite feels like how to work the bait properly how to set the hook properly when you do get the bite on that particular bait and uh, it's really enjoyable so I'd encourage you to look for a pond like that if you just heck if you just want to go fishing or if you want to learn how to use specific baits you know I come out uh, last time I was here all I did was throw one bait all the whole time uh, weightless fluke and I've got another video out where I just threw a crankbait and uh, I was in a lake throwing a crankbait and you know you don't really get better when you force yourself to use that particular bait and you don't have anything else. Uh oh, oh, that was a good one, golly. Doggone it. Biggest one of the day got loose. Another nice little bass. They're fun, I don't care what size they are. Oh, slung my worm and hit me in the belly with it. <laughs> Thank you, little buddy. I think I'm going to try one more spot over here before we get too dark to see and them snakes start coming out. I don't care too much for being around them. I'm going to try it without a weight since this wind's laid down now. I'll just hook it right in the middle there. Just let her free fall out there. See if we can get one before it gets dark. See if we can get it hooked up. There we go. One got it on the first cast. 
<laughs> oh, he slung it off too. That rascal. <laughs> that rascal slung it off first cast, boy. Jesus, Kenny went so bad. That guy's ain't over here with that bucket. Yeah, there we go. First cast on it with it like that. I should have been fishing it with it that way all the time, I guess. I don't know if you can see it on that camera there. Not a bad one. Well, I've done my part and I sharpened my skills on my wacky worm fishing. So next time I'll be fishing with something else and we'll see if we can't catch some more.